what you say is true, that when you covered stories like the civil rights story and Dr. Martin Luther King in the early stages, Vietnam, Watergate, um, people who don't like what you report are going to try to hang a sign around you. And people on the right side of the political spectrum would hang a sign around CBS News and therefore around me as, you know, they and he are a socialist, a communist, a bombshell, throwing Bolshevik or something. Um, never reminding people that we and I had a lot of trouble with Lyndon Johnson during his presidency, a Democrat. Jimmy Carter hated the interview I did with him because he graded himself. That Here's the point, that people such as myself, I, having said, I make my mistakes, I have had my failures, but my whole life has been dedicated to trying to be an honest broker of information. I pride my in independence professionally above almost anything else. Uh, and I've always subscribed to the notion that you should pull no punches, play no favorites, uh, be independent, fiercely independent when you had to, and know that you're going to take heat for that. There's going to be a price to pay. That if you do controversial stories, uh, you're going to have to face the furnace and take the heat. Uh, I did that over a whole career. CBS News, for most of its long and storied tradition, did the same thing. What began to change uh, near the end when I was there was the wall between the news division and the corporate entity crumbled. And Mr. Rums, uh, Mr. Redstone had very important legislation and regulation in Washington he wanted to get through for his business interest. He announced, listen, I want George Bush to get elected. 